start. We're like, right. hi. hi. Aloha. It's <laughs> <Sorry> first. <laughs> we just wanted to check on everybody during this time, this crazy time in our world. And we just wanted to send our love and aloha and send you all like big, huge virtual hugs. Yes. You know, um, so much going on in the world. We got to all stand together, love one another, be kind to one another, and use our voice at all times. And that's what we're doing right now. So for those of you who don't know who we are, I'm Rasha. And I'm Yvette. And we're sisters. Yes. We are, the, <laughs> we are the daughters of Fauna Hotel. The most amazing woman that ever walked the earth. Mm -hmm. The most positive beacon of light um, you would have ever witnessed if you had met her. Yeah. And that's what we represent <laughs> in the world. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry, we always get yeah, emotional oh my God. talking um, about our mother. And if you're all tuning in because you listen to us on Root of Evil, the true story of the Hodel family and the Black Dahlia, you know that story. You know the story of our mom. And if you tuned in to I Am The Night, you know the inspiration of her story as well. Yeah, yeah. And we always like to lead with our mother, with the light. You know, she was born into a, a crazy, um, a crazy, crazy wild heinous, all the things you can think of, uh, family. But we always want to lead with light and we always want to perpetuate her light, share her story, our story, but always, we always want to lead with her. Yes, and we get messages from people daily and a lot of people have thousands of questions for us and you know, we have things in the works, so stay tuned. But we, again, we just, you know, we just wanted to check in and answer a few questions that yeah. you've gotten. Yeah. And uh, if you're wondering, we um, have been basically quarantining together this last, basically, two weeks. Two weeks or so, yeah. Because my daughter and I went to San Francisco, and then Yvette and her husband came to see us in Oregon. We were gifted that by our cousin Gwen. Which yes. Is Amazing, thank you. Yeah, Gwen. we went to the coast, but prior to that, we had been apart for five months because we were worried about the world, <laughs> and yeah. we were worried about COVID, and still are. But yeah, you know, still are, still wear yeah. a mask. You know, safety is always first. Yes, always. But so everything's kind of been put on pause, like the rest of the world is put on pause right now. But I, I know a lot of times we wonder what mom would have done if she were still alive with all this going on right now. Yeah, mom would have been, you know, there, she would have been so tired of all the, you know, the black and the white and the just the hate, the hate. And in the same breath, she would be so proud, you know, of the, the younger generation, our generation that is standing up and saying, we're not taking this shit no more. No. <laughs> Time's up. Time's yes. up. You know, it's time to love. It's time to listen it's time to not compete, but have a conversation. And it's a continual, it's a lifetime conversation. But like I always say, superpower for all of us collectively is taking the time to listen and hear one another's story. And my mom was a storyteller. She loved listening to stories. So um, listening, remember that is a superpower. And I'm trying to learn how to listen because <laughs> my superpower is using my voice. No, but, and that and using your voice is yeah. is I mean we all need to use our voice. Yeah. But you know, we always have to stop and listen. Yes. Yeah. And that is what my beautiful sister has taught me. <laughs> to listen. Listen, listen Linda. Linda. <laughs> listen, Linda. Um, and that's what we've been doing, you know. And there's people out there that have said, you know, hateful and hurtful things. Um, about us, about our mom, about members of our family. And you know, what What does Michelle Obama say? When they go low, we go high. We go high, always. Always, and that's what mom would have done. And I know that mom would have been standing out there with her Black Lives Matter sign, but she'd also be standing there with the Heal the World sign. Right, and she'd also would be, you know, uh, one for all, all for one, you yeah. know, so. 
all lives matter, you know, black lives matter and all lives matter. That would be our mother, you know. Yes. But you and know then, what I mean. And then we would educate her and say, well, yes. you can't say all yes, lives I know. matter. I know, I know. <laughs> it's okay, she's black, she's allowed to say that. <laughs> we would tell her that yes, all lives matter, but they can't matter until black lives That's matter. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, like our whole lives, mom raised us to not see color. And I know that's P that's not PC right now, but that's how she raised us. Well, she raised us to see character. Yes. And to see beauty, you know, and to see someone's heart mm -hmm. before you ever judged anyone. You would never judge anyone. We weren't raised to judge anyone mm -hmm. by the color of their skin. No. Like mom wouldn't ever. even let us. Well, for me, like she would never let me check like what ethnicity I was. And for me, that empowered me to know that it doesn't matter what color we are. You know, like it, it's, it just boggles my mind that there's these, all these labels and all these boxes. That and I think that's, to fit into. and that's what, when I said about all lives, mom was, she hated labels. She hated labels. That when was, I told yeah. her I was a lesbian, like yeah. she wasn't mad know? about that, but she's like, do you have to label yourself? I'm like, yeah. yes, mom. I've spent right. 30 years trying to figure out my label. Right. But, mom was all for humankind. Yes. That's what mom was for. Yes. Yeah. And a little, yeah. a little factoid. She actually passed away in the state of Washington. And when she was cremated on her death certificate, the first time in Washington state history, they allowed, instead of checking what ethnicity she was, we asked if she could check the box for universal. And that is what is on her birth certificate, not birth certificate, death certificate. Death certificate. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right? It was universal. Yeah. Universal. Yeah. I think that was the exact wording. Like, I remember them asking us that question, like, going down the list. And we're like, well, she wasn't black. She wasn't white. She wasn't, you know, like, yeah. So that meant a lot. She was, again, you know, she was just humankind. Yes. Humankind. Yeah. Oh, and Love and kindness. Always. What were we going to say? I was going to say, um, like, jumping to a different subject, like, one of the number one Questions, questions that we've okay. been getting lately. Um, honestly, since Root of Evil came out and um, I Am the Night came out in 2019, is um, was George Hodel mom's, mom's father. Yeah. And, you know, while doing Root of Evil, there was a lot that was left out um, that didn't make the cut, so to speak. And one of the things that we did was there was a DNA expert that came on board and proved that George Hodel was not mom's father. So, we, we did 23andMe uh, DNA before mom died. Um, we didn't do this DNA test when she was alive. Um, it came up because TNT and Cadence 13 had these forensic experts that were experts on basically 23andMe DNA. And um, yeah, it said like 98% that mom's mother and father were not related so to her, each other. Yeah, her paternal and maternal were not related. Right. Yeah. Um, but that can't stand up in court, unfortunately. Like if we were to, if that were to go to court to, you know, quote unquote. Well, I mean, there are people that, I guess, you know, don't believe in DNA. Right. And then there are those of us who do believe yeah. in DNA. Or so. that particular test. Or, yeah. 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 So, yeah. but it's just so funny because like, and I've spoken about this on a few other podcasts that we've done, um, for guests appearances but it doesn't normally seem to make the cut but we do not believe that George Waddell no was and I mom's and, father. and in all honesty she I never did. never did but I always did I never believed George was <laughs> mom's father and the thing I was like there's just no way mom is just such this ray of light that I just thought there's just no way possible but the scary and horrible thing is is that he could have been right because there was incest and so that's what I circle back to and you know our, our mom shared with us before she passed that she thought that George was her biological father and I think that's why she never looked for him but that's our next but, uh, yeah I think she was we, terrified she was, to find yeah. out if if in fact it was true but our next you know we want to find out I want to know like I want to know who my mom's our grandfather father, yeah was who our grandfather was so stay tuned yes. for that. Oh, and the next the biggest question we always get is, are you guys doing another podcast? Are you doing a TV show? And we just like to say all the things. <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> um, we will announce things when we legally can. Um, but in the meantime, we can use our voices and listen. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
speak just up. You're sorry. Speak up. And listen. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so, it's really quite simple. Yes, yeah. it is. But it you is. gotta always stand up for what you believe in, even if that means standing up to people who have been in your life your entire life. Yeah, and, and you know, and sorry, I didn't oh, it's okay. Interrupt you, but in during this quarantine, I kept thinking, why are we all sitting still? What is you know what is this really really about? Obviously, we know COVID and you know the virus and all of that, but why are we all at home in one place? And it was it's a major wake up call because you know there are so many people that would have going would have been going about their everyday life, you know, going on vacation, doing whatever, and not watching the news, not hearing anything, or or really paying attention to the George Floyd's, you Murder, know, the yeah. Breonna Taylors, the Ahmaud Aubrey, like. They would have been, you know, tunnel vision in their life. So because there's like, been many people prior to them. Yeah, I mean, many, 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 many people. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's a huge wake up call, you know. Absolutely. Um, so it's, it's a good thing. Yes. It's always blessings in the midst of a storm. That's so true. That's so true. So, and we just know that we have to keep using our voices and listening and moving forward and perseverance is key yeah and you have key. to know that even if you descend from the root of evil that you know i mean we all have skeletons in our closet i know not many have them like <laughs> like we do like the but, hotel family yeah. I but mean, everybody has a story the, it's pretty extreme but everybody mm -hmm. if you if you start digging deep enough there's going to be something you're going to find mm -hmm. it's just a matter of how you um, move forward and always lead with the light and move towards the light, you know, because if you get stuck in, in the dark, I mean, that's what you're going to, that's what's going to gravitate towards you. Exactly. So, so you always have to lead with the light, just always. like our mom always did. Yeah. And that's why whenever we talk about, you know, the root of evil, I personally always like to lead with mom. Yeah. She she encompasses the love and the kindness and the joy and the light in the midst of that storm. And first and foremost, we're the daughters of Fauna Hodel. Yeah, more importantly, more than anything. Yes. You know, we have no desire to be known as the great granddaughters of George Hodel. Mm -mm. No. 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 We can tell you right now that our mom, Fauna Hodel, and George Hodel are not in the same place up in heaven, but mom is protecting us and protecting yeah. the world from people like him. And yeah, I, I, I like to say mom is up there, like she's shaking up, shaking out the rug, you know? So yeah. every, all those that are not doing the right thing, they're being seen for the first time. Yes. They're being seen. Their, their true colors are right showing. <laughs> yeah. And we're sure. all watching. Yes. We see so, you. We see yeah. you. We watch it. <laughs> but we just want to thank everyone for following along on our journey. And the messages that we get are heartbreaking and inspiring. Yeah. And just know that we see you and we hear you. And we're listening. Yes. Yes. And <laughs> thank you for coming on this journey. We'll keep you posted. Yes. We just wanted to check in since we're physically together <laughs> right now. And we're thankful that we can be. So yes. love, hold on to one another, enjoy your moments. Life is precious and it's not promised. We love you guys. Aloha. Aloha. And wear your Bye. mask and Black yes. Lives Matter. Aloha. Bye. Yes. <laughs>